welcome back guys in this video i'll be testing the demo of the lost solar side on my windows pc that has a ryzen 5700x 3d processor and an rtx 2070 super gpu it's an action adventure role playing game that features a cliche storyline in which our character embarks on a journey to rescue his sister and save humanity from the mysterious invaders from across dimensions the game uses unreal engine 4 does suffer from traversal status the levels are linear but are set in big open areas the game supports both DLSS and XCSS frame generation. Unfortunately, I was not able to access XCSS frame generation on my RTX 2070 Super GPU even after updating the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones. I was also not able to get OptiScaler mod working with the demo of this game. The mod may work with the full version, not sure. But Nukem 9's mod worked fine. I'll be using Nukem 9's mod to replace the in-game DLSS frame generation implementation with FSR frame generation. This way NVIDIA Reflex will also work which will help in cutting down the latency. Highly recommended to use the mod if you have an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU. We'll be using build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9's mod available on Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. We'll be verifying the upscaler's details using TLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. If you want to disable the DLSS debug overlay, replace the number 4 here with 0, file, save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Open. Yes. Ok. Now I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Open the mods archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy the two dll files, version and dlss g2fsr3 amd is better. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open project lsa folder, binaries folder, win64 folder. Paste the mod files here. Now just change the name of version.tll file to winhttp.tll. win http we are done here the game comes with an older version of tlss for upscaler version 310.1.0 i'll manually update it to the latest one that is 310.4.0 just download this tll file from tech power ups website click on download click on any of these servers download will start open the upscaler's archive file copy this tll file nvngx underscore tlss I'll show you way to paste it. Open the games install directory. Open engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, nvidia folder, dlss, binaries, third party, win64. Older version of dlss 310.1.0.0, replace it with the latest one. Highlight the file. There you go. Make sure that hardware x related GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on display settings. Click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. Enable hardware x related GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select lost soul aside. Scroll down to the end. Enable vSync from here. Apply. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. Ready to run the game. In game settings, just click on Camera. From here, disable Motion Blur. Display settings. Display mode portal as full SD resolution. Graphics. Most of the settings are set to high. Don't want the game to run out of VRAM. So I have set the texture quality setting to medium. Post processing setting low. Upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset. Yeah, we have access to 
the in-game frame generation setting on RTX 2070 Super this means Newcom 9's mod is working frame generation disabled for the time being low latency mode on reflex on NVIDIA GPUs ray tracing off from the games menu we can access battle simulation boss challenge and adventure mode I'll jump into the adventure mode alright the level has started there is a character I'll explore the area on foot oh my god look at that frame pacing graph game is stuttering excessively this is not good VRAM usage it's around 7.5 GB the level is set in a big open area I'll be honest English dub in this game does not sound good at all you can see the enemy in the background cross this bridge Are you okay? FPS is close to 100 you can sense that. I'm also observing some texture popping issue this is not good I've set the texture quality to medium still the VRAM usage is on the higher side that was a perfect dodge tried to execute a perfect block stuttering happens during combat finally got the perfect block you just need to press the R key right before our enemy's attack is about to land this is indicated by a blue circle around us executing a special move check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner it's partially blocked by the game's HUD UI you can just pause the game to check the value of render preset it's set to K version of the upscaler 310.4.0 this is the transformer model of DLSS 4 DLSS auto exposure setting is on this setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects not observing any ghosting around the character model ok now I'll enable Newcom 9's mod graphics settings just set frame generation to 2 times apply resume the game the FPS increased to around 160 can observe the added amount of smoothness check out after bonus frame pacing graph it became thick this means Newcom 9's mod is working you need to disable flip metering setting in order to fix this thick frame pacing graph can be done via OptiScaler mod ok I am observing some stuttering here moving on to the next area you can see the spike on the frame pacing graph the big spike will be fighting against more creatures oh my god ugly stuttering the performance is very disappointing VRAM usage here is around 7.3 GB so we are not running out of VRAM my GPU comes with 8 GB of physical VRAM Newcom 9 spot does not produce any ghosting around our shadow during fast visual motion that's good to see this artifact is present in a lot of games that officially support FSR frame generation you must have seen Spider-Man's shadow flickering when he is swinging around the city FSR frame generation is not a fix for a game's poor performance hopefully the developers will improve the game's performance reduce the traversal stutters no flickering is produced around the game's hard elements it's just DLSS debug overlay which is flickering I'll show you how to disable it need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier select the file open with notepad replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close and run this registry file yes okay that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day